Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to flash your uh, the firmware of a Linksys E1000 V2 router using the DDWRT firmware. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, I have a router. Um, as I told you, the model is Linksys E1000 V2, and this router can cannot be used as an uh, as a repeater. Uh, because uh, you need to connect a wire but I want to use it as a wireless repeater so to do that do that I need to upgrade the firmware uh, or flush the firmware using DDWRT so let me show you uh, the router here this is the router uh, and if you turn it router version here uh, model and version at first I connected this router to the um, with its power you can see its power and uh, the Ethernet cable so you must connect this Ethernet cable to the computer while you are going to upgrade the firmware or flush the firmware so let me show you how do I do that at first you have to download the firmware from the website you can see here uh, i have uh, already entered into this website uh, before i connected uh, connect the router to this computer from this website uh, i will uh, give you the link uh, at the bottom of the video so you can see the link you just copy and paste the link in the web page and uh, you can download from here. I have already uh, downloaded the firmware and now I have connected, I also connected the router to the computer. So let us access the router first. This router's uh, IP address is this. This is built in for the uh, Linksys router usually. But when I uh, wrote this address and I press enter you can see it is not able to connect so you need to make some changes in the setting so go here first network on settings from here you change the adap adapter settings you see this is the ethernet just double click on it and check its IP address you see uh, this IP configuration it has got by itself automatically and it is never going to function so we need to set a gateway and uh, we need to set an IP address for this first you go to properties and select TCP IP uh, IPv4 this one and go to properties and you will see here obtain IP automatically so change this setup Select use the following IP address um, because I know the router IP address. Uh, I'll put that uh, router IP address as a gateway here. So this is 192.168.1.1. One one. You have to uh, put the IP address here by changing this one right here. Uh, 192. Sorry. 192.168.1.1 like uh, for me I'll write 5 and click the subnet mask will come automatically and you don't need to do this uh, setup changes because it is not going to connect to the internet at this moment this router does not have any internet so press ok and then close and go to reels you can see it has got this IP address and now you can access the router from the web browser yes so it is connected the default um, uh, username and password is admin and admin so use that to log into the router I'm not going to save anything you can see the router settings here I'm just going to flash the firmware so you need to go to administration and go to firmware update 
from here you have to select the location where you have downloaded the firmware uh, again i'm reminding you that our, i downloaded the firmware from this dwrt website and by clicking this icon let me go back and browse the location so um, as far as i can remember i saved it in my c drive yeah from here i saved it here so this is the firmware now click open and press start upgrade remember there's a warning that sometimes uh, it can happen that the router can uh, can be completely destroyed i think there will be no firmware at all it can happen for rare cases so keep in mind that uh, now start upgrade it is going to take a couple of minutes maybe one or two minutes not more than that let us wait while it is upgrading the firmware as you can see the message that uh, upgrade is successful now if you continue let us see what happens uh, you cannot access anymore so write the address again and hit it I don't think it is going to connect so um, at this point you need to do a hard reset of your router so um, to do the hard reset I'll take you to another video uh, I'll use my mobile camera you can see here this is the router on the back side of the router there is a red button uh, this red button you just need to press and hold it for a couple of second and look at here it will flash yeah you can see the lights are flashing so that means um, hard reset is done now let us get back to the uh, screen again so uh, now try to uh, log in again to the router you can see um, it is connected and you can see already the farmer is uh, updated to ddwrt dot uh, com it is showing that so just change the router username and password for me i'll write admin and admin admin everything is admin to make it easy so guys that is all uh, now you can see uh, you got a um, new firmware uh, guys in the next video i'll show you how to set up this um, router as a repeater so please follow the next video to uh, completely learn how to set up this router as a repeater uh, guys thanks for watching the video please uh, like and share and make any comments if you need any help and subscribe to my channel